Hello, everybody. Today, we're going to look at a Beckett Basketball Monthly. This one is from October 1996. And the cost is $3.50. On the front cover, we have Shaq. Shaq headlines a new Showtime in L.A. Ray for Hollywood. And on the back, we have some Olympics and... This is David Robinson, Scotty Pippen, Mitch Richmond, Reggie Miller. We have the Summer um, Olympics coming up here with U.S. basketball. So thought that was appropriate for today. And let's talk about Shaq a little bit. I'm working on a rookie card run for Shaq, only missing the Skybox. And... Uh, uh, Shaquille O'Neal was really the player that got me into basketball. I'd already been a baseball and football kind of fan as a kid, but when Shaq came in the league with Orlando and was tearing down basketball hoops, breaking glass for backboards, that was just amazing and uh, incredible. And so... That was a draw for me and um, had a great career, Shaquille O'Neal. Let's take a look in the inside cover. we got some artwork for The Worm, Dennis Rodman, featuring some green hair there. Shaq finding extreme happiness in L.A. And, of course, that's the Extreme Corpse Top Stadium Club card. And we got, looks like a board game here. Short prints article. Got USA Basketball, David Robinson. We got Grant Hill figure there. Kenner, yeah, those starting lineups. I got a couple of those. Uh, we got an 88 Fleer pack. And by the way, uh, just recently, I, was, I guess it was a sports card investor was opening 87 Fleer. Of course, he had opened up 86 and 88 Fleer already. So I thought that was pretty interesting. He paid $12,000 for a box of 87 Fleer. Article about short prints continues. And well, this is interesting. On the attack for Shaq, he's got must have a kind of a super collection there or something. She, Shaquille O'Neal. And we got Ray Allen card there in the Connecticut uniform. This is 1996. We got Allen Iverson. So those are two pretty good players. Reader's right section. We got Juwan Howard card there. I got that card. Alonzo Morning. Add for a Cal Ripken mug. Reader's right section. And uh, Michael Jordan, you crash the game. Mashburn. Capital gains. How did the NBA? Spent its summer vacation. It held a free agency spending spree limited by a so-called salary cap that saw Michael hit a bullseye and the Lakers hit the shack pot. Matumbo went to Atlanta. Of course, Shaq going to L.A. That was huge because it seems like L.A. always gets to bring over the big stars. They had Wilt. They had... Jerry West, 
And they brought over Kareem. They had, of course, they had Magic. And um, at this point, Shaq, he'll have Kobe joining him or, you know, joining forces with Kobe here in, in L.A. Here's all the players that stayed. Oh, wait. Staying home. Resigned. And you got crazy hair there. Rodman, Jordan. And these are the players on the move. That emotion, I really like that set. That's some nice photography. Who's hot? Got that Shaq Skybox card. Number one, Dennis Rodman. He's number two, Jordan. Rodman's ahead of Jordan. Number three, Anthony Hardaway, Shaquille O'Neal. Scotty Pippen, Grant Hill, Gary Payton, Kevin Garnett, Sean Kemp, Juwan Howard, Mitch Richmond, Kim Olajuwon, Damian Sotomayor, Alan Houston, Larry Johnson. Coach Juwan Howard is a coach now for Michigan. And let's see what cards are valued at in 1996. George Mikan, 4,500. Wilt Chamberlain, 1,200. Elgin, Bear, uh, Elgin Baylor, 300. And we got uh, the Jerry West rookie card, 650. Oscar, 450. And let's take a look at the 6970. Tall Boys. Kareem is 650. Thought it was. Thought it'd be more than that. Okay. All right. Let's take a look. I just picked up recently that Oscar Robinson card. Not in the perfect condition, but that's the number one. Uh, it's card number one. So, listed at $35. It's kind of hard to get in a great condition. And for some reason, those cards are a little hard to come by anyway. So that's why that was, I think that was uh, one of the last cards I needed for a run for him. I also have that cream card there. In the Laker uniform. The Bird Magic card, 425. And let's see, the 84, 85 star, Michael Jordan, 2,900. And, of course, the iconic $1,000 86 Fleer. It seemed like, well, I always remembered it as being a $1,000 card. I'm just kind of curious because a sports card investor just recently broke that box of 87, 88 Fleer. Elisha ones were 30. Jordan's 180. Larry Bird, 30. Barkley, 20. I've got a couple of uh, Bucks players, but none of the big names, uh, stars in that set.
The Jordan sticker on that is forty dollars. Okay. Get into some of the junk wax, which, like I said, Shaq rookie five bucks. Uh, I need the skybox Shaq rookie. Well, that's an SB. Didn't know it was a short print. Ten bucks. Yeah, I didn't know it was a short print. I remember that Tops Archives. That was really a fun, a fun set because it didn't have any Tops cards in all those years, all those rookie cards that missed out because of that. But then they got uh, 93, 94 Finest, which was really fun also with the Refractors, Jordan, Tribute, 450. So I got the, uh, I do have the Electric Gold Vin Baker, $25. And like I said, that Emotion set, one of my favorite, along with 94, 95 Finest. That was also a very fun set. Nineties basketball, nineties uh, inserts were a lot of fun. Moving kind of right along here, I saw recently sold a warp speed. Jason Kidd, what twelve dollars here? I didn't. Did not realize that there's a lot of inserts, a lot of fun cards. Oh, yeah. The Decade of Excellence, 96, 97. The Jordan is uh, $90. I don't know if Kobe rookie cards would be listed quite yet. Let's see, 96, 97, let's see. Probably something. He was um, not quite... He had a couple slower years at first, Kobe, and then he came on. But I think he was kind of a you know, little bit of a hot prospect, but just not quite. They didn't know quite what he was going to be. Yeah, like they've got the Kobe Bryant right there. Trade 15 bucks. It wasn't wasn't that where Iverson uh was, but it was still fairly hot and then um, he had a couple say slower years to start out and then he came on strong. Card survey where you can fill that out and then here we go. Burbank, of course, has their website there. LAINet.com. In, in 1996, 97. Well, yeah, this is 1996. So websites were very new. Of course, we've got an article about Alan Iverson. He was incredible. And it, he, it was kind of at that time when I stopped collecting is that 90, um, in 1997, 90, kind of the end of 96. So the 96, 97, I really didn't have much, um, any cards. So 
just recently picked up a Ray Allen. Never had a Ray Allen rookie card. So recently picked one up. We've got an article about Rick Smiths. But, um, yeah. So I missed out on that Kobe era, Allen Iverson era, I, all those. I did have one Garnett, um, but that was it. Die cut Shaq, Rodman, the yellow and red hair in the middle, Fleer Metal, Beckett Live, Virtual Radio, so Beckett.com. You know what? They should have done more with online, and uh, they could have been bigger. I don't know why Becca didn't just kind of the company just kind of fell apart when when Dr. James Beckett sold it. And here we got some classic basketball games. Looks like Oscar right there. Yeah, Oscar. Number 14 with the Cincinnati. Uh, that's like Royals, I believe. So, yeah, get to the end of this one. And we got a nice David Robinson artwork on the back. Inside cover, and I like how they do. I like when they were doing the art instead of the ads. And so, we got a nice David Robinson, and then, of course, Dream Team number two on the back. And uh, boy, they don't have the Dream Teams like they, they used to back in those days. And it's kind of an international has, has taken over, and so a lot of these teams are very equal nowadays. It's not the dream team against all these other teams that aren't very good. It's very good competition, so it's exciting this year. We'll see what happens. Um, could be anybody. It really, really could be anybody could win that, and so that should be fun. And so that is your 1996 Beckett Basketball Card Monthly with some Shaq artwork on the on on it featuring uh, the Lakers, the New York Lakers uniform, because he had not played with the Lakers yet. Thanks for watching. See you next time.